हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑर्गेनिक फोटो केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी विल टेक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनिक फोटो केमिस्ट्री एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज नरिश टाइप वन रिएक्शन नरिश टाइप वन रिएक्शन द नेम इज गिवन बाय द दिस साइंटिस्ट कॉल्ड नरिश्ट हु हैज वर्क इन दिस एरिया एक्चुअली द दिस रिएक्शन is comes from the environmental chemistry about when a very important compound was studied called as heptanal so nerish type 1 it is shown by two types of compound only it is reported in literature those compounds are ketones and aldehyde only in fact the aldehyde was the first molecule studied by nerish in the atmosphere to check the environmental conditions and its effect when it react with energy or radiation here <clears throat> we will discuss with the next type one reaction so it involves the two process number one is primary process and secondary process we know well about the alpha bond beta bond the alpha bond which is directly bonded to a functional group so primary process involve the cleavage of uh, alpha bond which is adjacent to carbonyl carbon okay and after cleavage it forms the two radical one radical is called as acyl radical and another is called as alkyl radical you can see example here you can see here see we have taken a carbonyl irradiation no doubt it will go first singlet then inter system crossing triplet and after that breakage cleavage this form two radicals so we can say it's so acyl radical and alkyl radical okay now once it is formed this primary process is over and now secondary process is start now we have seen just now in the primary process two radicals form acyl radical and the uh, alkyl radical in secondary process what are the uh, steps takes place see it involves three to four steps number 1 uh, after the primary process that is after the formation of acyl radical and uh, Uh, the acyl radical and the alkyl radical it undergo decarbonylation and then there is a recombination formation of alkene or cyclic compound another step is these two radicals they interchange alpha hydrogen means there is abstraction of alpha hydrogen uh, by the alkyl radical and it will form very important intermediate called as ketin so ketin formation is a very important process which involved in nerish type 1 reaction similarly the beta hydrogen abstraction takes place by acyl radical and it will form two compounds aldehyde and alkene functional group so what will happen this secondary process is very important what are the possibilities either it will go decarbonylation and if the ketone having the alpha carbon beta carbon and hydrogens on them then they will follow alpha hydrogen abstraction and beta hydrogen abstraction let us summarize alpha hydrogen abstraction by alkyl radical generate ketene that is carbonyl carbon become ketene functional group and if the alkyl radical carry the beta hydrogen it abstracted by the acyl radical and it will form aldehyde and aldehyde and alkene we will see example here see example let us take a simple a ketone we have taken here acetone see there is only alpha carbon alpha carbon so here only alpha hydrogen abstraction will takes place now you see here there is a for uh, this uh, alpha bond cleavage formation of acyl radical this is called as acyl radical right and this is what alkyl radical we can say alkyl radical fine yes alkyl radical and there there is a decarbonylation means this this further undergo again fragmentation and there is a formation of one more radical from this this radical this is this radical they will combine they will combine and they will form carbon carbon bond this is what this process is called as up to this it is called as alpha uh, primary process and from this decarbonylation is the secondary process so there is no alpha hydrogen uh, so there is alpha hydrogen only so uh, uh, what is the possibility this methyl radical can abstract this h and there is a formation of ketene okay so we will go we will see next example 
let us take one more example of carbonyl compound this carbon compound on irradiation undergo singlet state we have learned that then it uh, cross uh, it undergo intersystem crossing and form triplet state so we can label this directly as a triplet state there is a formation of alpha bond this alpha bond or uh, this both are same so let us break this alpha homolytically there is a formation of radical acyl radical and this is the alkyl radical we can say again same this involves the secondary process this is a secondary process secondary process what we have seen in secondary process there is a loss of co carbon carbon monoxide so decarbonylation like this see and again there is a form of radical this radical this radical combined with this radical so we can write like this after their combination they will combine and there is a formation of this carbon carbon and there is a formation of new compound so this is what the abstraction of uh, sorry decarbonation process involved in this reaction okay fine let us move for another example a very exa important example is here we can say uh, pentane to one it is a pentane to one so what product you will expect now so it is a symmetrical ketone and what will what are the what are the radical will form here means which bond will break so we know more stable radical will form therefore this side bond undergo cleavage and you can see here there is a formation of this n propyl radical and this acyl radical now what is this alpha this is called as a primary process now what is the secondary process this beta hydrogen abstraction takes place you can see here beta hydrogen abstraction and we know who will who will abstract the beta hydrogen this acyl group will abstract and this alpha carbon what was here you can say alpha carbon beta carbon and this here uh, there is a beta hydrogen fine so this beta hydrogen uh, there are two beta hydrogen on this carbon so undergo homolysis there is a loss of catch by this h by this ch there this become aldehyde and there is a formation of bond between this dot and this dot and this give alkyl so what we have seen in the secondary process of nourish one type reaction nourish type one reaction beta hydrogen abstraction takes place by acyl radical and this alkyl radical will abstract alpha hydrogen so you can see here now one chance is over another chance this is the n propyl radical acyl radical this is alpha carbon and again this is alpha hydrogen abstraction takes place by this and there is a formation of propane and ketene formation takes place this is a ketene you can see it is a ketene okay it is a ketene here ketene fine let us go for one more example see cyclohexanone so we can directly write undergo radiation singlet intersystem crossing triplet state decarbonylation cyclopentyl will form so this is a this is a product of decarbonylation how this product will form it form form due to the beta hydrogen abstraction and who is abstracting beta hydrogen this carbonyl abstract beta hydrogen from this carbon and how this form this is the what this is called as this is what this is the ketene and how it will form remember ketene formation takes place by the abstraction of alpha hydrogen from the acyl radical this is the example of uh, nourish type one reaction so there are there is we will take one more example here see the carbon is a very important uh, natural uh, compound or can synthetically prepared. so when you perform the radiation on this in the methanol what what is the product we are expecting so you can see the mechanism if you follow the mechanism we will see that this this undergo first one irradiation uh, and this bond breakage we know most uh, stable radical will form this side is a radical then there is a decarbonylation okay so minus co we can write uh, sorry no 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 not here so there is a uh, see there is alpha hydrogen so we can say alpha alpha hydrogen abstraction here in position alpha hydrogen abstraction alpha hydrogen abstraction takes place this uh, homolysis and this H taken by this carbon and there is a formation of ketene and when you add methanol there is a formation of ester it is a very famous reaction we have seen in many name reaction so this is what about the uh, nourish type 1 uh, photochemical reaction there are a variety of examples we will see in the next lecture in the next video thank you